like it or not, there's no way to ignore the iPad, from the cover of news magazines to the late night comedians. Here we go, number 10. What the hell is it? Number nine. That remains the question a day before it goes on sale. What exactly does it do? You can shield your eyes from the sun. <laughs> and just look how quickly it makes delicious salsa. What it does, perhaps, is change everything. The iPad is like the Beatles of 2010. It takes something uh, that we thought we knew and makes it seem fresh. Stephen Levy of Wired Magazine says the brilliance of the iPad is that it makes the computer disappear. You don't think computer when you use it. You just uh, do the task you want to do. Want to read a book? The iPad becomes a book. Want to read a newspaper? The iPad becomes a newspaper. It can be a game board or a movie screen with the touch of a finger. The appeal of that has already been noted by other computer makers who are now rushing to get their own tablet computers to market. Just the way Apple's iPhone started a flood of other smartphones, the iPad will do the same. To use language that would have been in the original tablet for Moses, <laughs> this begat this. That the iPhone really created this demand for smartphones that use the touch screen and use your fingers to control them. It may be what Apple's been working towards for decades. In the beginning, computers were complicated. You almost needed a programmer's skill to make them work. Then along came Apple with machines that seemed designed for anybody to use. In some remarkable video from 1981, a bearded Steve Jobs tells a skeptical CBS News correspondent why the computer he's built will catch on. It's just going to be very gradual and very human and will seduce you into learning how to use it. Jobs was right. We've learned how to use computers. Um, and now he's selling one that doesn't like. seem to be a computer at all. And that may lead to things we can't even guess yet. The thing about technology is that the most exciting applications are probably the ones that nobody has yet imagined. Technology opens up the doors for creativity. For all the hype, it's what happens here at the store that counts. Well, there's certain to be a crowd here tomorrow. The response to the iPad in the weeks and months ahead is what will determine whether it changes the face of computing. John Blackstone, CBS News, Burlingame, California.